Hey guys, it's Ryan here and I just want to do a quick uh, video on batteries. This will be a virtually unedited video, but it's about what I consider to be the heart, the beating heart of any cargo trailer or RV system or boondocking setup, like a boondocking cargo trailer moto hauler like I have, and that's these batteries. So from China, <laughs> I ordered 16 Kalb batteries and they're called Kalbs because that's the company name. They are this is for a 24 watt system so the whole the shipment was four boxes only three of them showed up today so i only have 12 out of my 16 um, cells but as you can see on these cells some of them are sequentially numbered 117 18 19 20 and i did a voltage check and they are all exact uh, same voltage which was like 3.29 i think it was then I've got another cluster of four right here. And then um, I am assuming in the other missing box that's supposed to come tomorrow, I will have the two numbers that match these or in sequence and same thing on these. You can see that. Um, so the numbers are out of order right now, but I think it'll all come together tomorrow. But anyway, these 16 cells are going to become um, clusters of four. Actually, I should say, pairs of cells will be a single cell because um, I'll run them in parallel but then I'm doing a serial string and then parallel again bottom line is it's going to end up becoming a 24 volt system which is going to connect to my charge controller um, and inverter blah 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 so this is what's necessary to basically have enough power to be off grid for a day or two or three at a time i've got a thousand watts of solar panels so far hopefully that will be enough but if needed i can add for about 450 bucks i can add another cluster of four batteries and i can also for a couple hundred bucks or about a hundred dollars per panel i can add more panels as needed i have room for two or three maybe four more panels on the roof of my cargo trailer um, so i just wanted to show you what these come like like what the box looks like you can see here um, it's just four about each cell comes in a cardboard box and it's very well packaged um, I've watched reviews on these batteries from Will Prowse, who's probably one of the best solar power guys on YouTube. And then there's also these bus bar kits that come with them. And to let you know how much I spent, whoops, falling boxes here. I probably spent $1,700 to get the equivalent of 400 amp hours of battery capacity. Now I could have gone, oh, and I actually had to spend like another 300 on two um, BMSs, battery management systems, um, because you can get a BMS in an all-in-one kit um, or system like a Battleborn battery, but 100 amp hours for a Battleborn is basically $1,000. I mean, you can find discount codes and get them for like 950. Sorry for any shaking, my arm's getting a little tired. For about 950 bucks per 100 amp hours, I wanted 400 amp hours, that would take me almost to $4,000 just for batteries alone. But by going with these Chinese Calb cells, putting them together myself, learning about balancing and BMSs and doing it all myself, I basically will spend about a grand total of $2,000. So half price, 50% off just to do it yourself. And you become a better, uh, a better expert at solar power stuff, or at least you'll understand your own rig much better. So I think that's worth doing. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that I got 12 of my cells in. I can't wait to get the other four. I've got my two BMSs that I'm going to use to manage these. And I'm going to go take them out to my cargo trailer to see how they fit in the space. I've got to figure out how I'm going to arrange them, if they're going to be all back to back like, like this type of setup. Hopefully I'm in focus. Or if I'm going to have to turn one of them sideways like this to save space. But they're going to be sitting on top of my wheel well. So... We'll see. Anyway, just wanted to film that, show you my new batteries, let you know I'm excited to begin building this battery array because it really is the heart of my solar power system and really is the functional heart of my entire rig. Pretty important stuff. And I've been waiting for two months to get these. And aside from the trailer itself, which was $4,300, this you know $1,700 worth of batteries has been my single biggest expenditure besides the actual cargo trailer. So that's pretty important. So that's why I made this video. Just wanted to share my excitement about these batteries. So very quickly, just wanted to show you my batteries on the wheel well. So I've only got 12 of the 16, but essentially 
they work in clusters of four, or at least in my mind they do, like this. Um, I will probably have them this in this orientation, but if I shove these together like this, there's eight cells that will be four pairs, and that four pair will be managed by this BMS, which looks like a battery crab to me. So that will probably be mounted here on the wall, and then I will have an identical setup right here when I get the other four cells in, and they fit very nicely on my half of my wheel well. Let me back up. Apologize for the noise. I'm in the cargo trailer with the AC on. That's my temporary battery right there, just to give me some light. Uh, but there's my solar charge controller. There's my 120 volt breaker box. Somewhere right in here, I will have my little 12 volt um, loads fuse box. And then there, all the batteries will be right there. And then that is a support for the bed. That is a support for the bed, that shelf bracket. That's basically what it is. And the shelf brackets have little cutouts on the back. So wiring, Romex wiring will lay down there. Let's go to the side in the groove. So that's gonna be a wiring run. So all the lines for the whole cargo trailer will come in, come down to that spot, come towards the battery, the solar area, the utility closet, and will be hidden by what eventually will be a bed that will rest on those supports. And so everything will be hidden and under the bed and I may enclose it, I may not, we'll see, but that's essentially my utility closet right there at the back um, driver side corner of the cargo trailer. So more to come, stay tuned. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And I'm definitely gonna film and document me building out my solar array, because um, may, you may find that helpful. So thanks for watching, I'll talk to you soon. Leave your comments, smash the like button, and please subscribe so you can see all the build videos. Thanks, bye.